Royal Cookies is proudly sponsored by Board Bia and StopFoodWaste.ie. We're back in Grow HQ here in Waterford for another year of growing, cooking and eating. This year the seven veg we're growing are Onions, pumpkins, sweet corn, courgettes, kale, French beans and spicy chilies, making each vegetable the star of the show. We'll be teaching you how to grow like a pro. Look at these beauties. As well as traveling far and wide to find the best food stories from around the country. Is everybody hungry? Yeah. Then it's into the kitchen for our favorite part, the taste test. Mm. Yum. So what are we waiting for? Let's get growing. So Karen, do you see this? I do. How much veg do you think we could buy with this? Yeah, not a lot, like a leaf of lettuce. And how many courgettes do you think I could grow from this tiny little seed? You, I don't know, but I could grow loads, even <laughs> in a container. So from this one little tiny seed, we are going to grow 40 courgettes. And all it's going to cost us is one of these. Fantastic. Give it the seeds, give it the money, let's give it a grow. This week, it's all about courgettes. With just a handful of seeds, we're hopefully going to end up with a boatload of delicious veg. I'm making two trips this week. The first to a community project on the edge of Europe. And I'll be visiting some friends and they're very fancy fungi. Then it's into the kitchen where Katie Sanderson is going to give our courgettes the best possible send off. Courgettes aren't a vegetable that most people would think they can actually grow in Ireland. Because, you know, usually we think about things like onions and carrots and parsnips. Cabbages. Sorry, cabbages. Spuds. Spuds, which are great. But actually, courgettes are much easier than you would think. Yeah. This is the perfect time of the year to sow them because they don't like the cold. So they're, you're aiming to kind of plant them out around June time frame. Okay, so we've got our three, our pots ready. Yeah. Important to say that, that like, because they're so prolific, you do not need more than two or three plants. We've got this green one is called Coke Gazelle. So that's a sort of standard green courgette okay. that you'd expect. This one is called Gold Rush, which is actually yellow. And then this one's called Florador, which is actually a round courgette. Looks like a lemon, a big lemon. Is this just the standard potting compost that we always yeah, use for sowing seeds? Absolutely. So it's potting compost as opposed to seed compost. So you want something which is with the differences. Li differences. More this nutrients. has a little bit of food in it. Yeah. So the seed sown, it couldn't be simpler. Like this is absolutely easy peasy. Just literally take your seed and stick it. It's going like twice as deep as the size of the seed or okay. so. And the other thing just to be careful of is you, you always sow it on its side. Why? Because if you, if you sow it flat like that, it can kind of rot because the water would be sort of sitting on it all the time. Okay. Whereas if you put it on its side, the water sort of drips over the side of it, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, okay. So you just stick it down on its side, about two centimeters, cover it over. And the other thing is just get the label in there straight away because you won't know the difference. All, all the seeds are, the, are more or less the, the same. same. Yeah. Do we need to water so, them? So, yeah, we do need to water them. Okay. Uh, keep, keep the soil moist, like don't ever let it dry out. And then we'll keep them in here and they'll be ready to plant out in about okay. a month's time. Check out these courgettes. It's been about five weeks, I think, since we sowed them, and that's about as much food as there is in this potting compost for these plants. So really important for them to move on. We're gonna get some into the ground outside, some into containers. I think Karen is waiting down below, so we're gonna get moving. When they said you were down here waiting, I thought you'd be like, you know, raking the bed or something like that. I didn't no. think you were actually going to be reading a book. Well, it's actually not for me. It's for you. Oh. Yeah, because, you know, <laughs> it's always work. good to learn. Go away, Anna. Come on. <laughs> Time to get stuck in here. What have we got? So what I think is going to happen here is we're going to get four plants into this section of the bed. Uh, <laughs> so Dude, need... No, really, yours, we need to measure mine. this out. So. No, we do, because courgettes are an exceptionally hungry yeah, so plant. Yeah, so I can imagine they go yeah. wide. So they get really big and they're really hungry, so we need to space them about 60 centimetres apart, which is okay, about that size. Okay, or just two rulers, like go to the or spoon bag, rulers. get the rulers. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to get you to plant those two, and I'll yep. plant these two here. Did you bring me a trowel? I did. Now, again, because, because they're such a hungry plant, 
different to the sort of normal kind of top dressing with the with the poultry manure. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of make a fairly big hole and get lots. <laughs> Dig your okay. Yeah, fairly big planting hole. Yeah. Get some. Get a kind of half a handful of the poultry manure pellets and the seaweed into the planting hole and kind of mix it all in. So it's, it means you're just getting a little bit more nutrition right at the roots where, where it needs it, yeah? So just a little sprinkle and then kind of mix it all in, yeah? Okay. And then get your plant in. Just kind of at the same level of the as the soil, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You don't bury it down or anything like that and kind of firm it in well, so kind of lean in on top of it and leave, leave your, your plant label in the soil beside it so that you kind of know what you're dealing with later on. Okay, so just give them a quick water before we finish, Karen. So I always say count to 10, 10 seconds on each plant when you're okay, watering I'm in. I'm going over to the container bit. All right. Can't Don't interest you book. in my watering <laughs> no. techniques, though. No. Whilst Mick is busy watering his courgettes, I'm going to get this one uh, into the pot. Now, I think, to be fair, this is probably the biggest container that we've used so far. And the reason for that is because whilst courgettes don't necessarily have a deep root system, they are, as Mick was saying earlier, a really hungry plant. So we need to make sure that they have loads of really good nutritious soil to help them, uh, to help them keep growing. So same rule applies, clearly not pot bound, which is great. This is the one, the gold rush. Happy if you're a grow digger, get it. Had to be said, had to be said. So yeah, and it goes just like so. Dirtying your denim is optional and giving it another little bit of watering. Okay, so I am on a mission. I am heading on a road trip down to Goleen in West Cork, which boasts the most southwesterly community garden in Ireland and in Europe. Check out the most amazing scenery. This place is amazing. The idea, I, I think, has been germinating for years, you know, and uh, we've been keen, we've got the land, and it wasn't really being used for anything. I'm a very keen gardener, and I just proposed it to the community council, and they were kind of, yeah, but why? You know? <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. We live in a, an amazing place, why would you want a garden, sort yeah. of thing? And, um, and really, I suppose it's to promote the environmental. We call it the the all garden, the or the garden, all garden. yeah, or rather than the garden for all. It's okay. the all garden because it's environmental, yeah. it's ecological, mm -hmm. it's educational, yeah. and it's edible. But we have a community centre. We have we do a lot of tidy towns and yeah. things like this. Yeah. And we also wanted a space that you know, like um, I suppose the heart of a community. Yeah, nice. And I thought that that is what a community yeah. garden is about. How long have you been working in the garden? Uh, not, not too long, uh, a couple of months really at this point. Okay. Um, so this is really just to kind of learn and to get ideas and to help out with something in the community, you know. Yeah, so nice. It gives me ideas for my home place. I mean, are you a grower anyway? Yeah, well, like, like my mum was always growing vegetables and I'm hoping my kids might pick up a bit of an interest from it as well. And I like to know where my food's coming from, mm, so as much important. as possible. So. Yeah. So what do you do with all the produce that comes out of the ground? Well, the uh, vast majority is the community centre. There's okay. the, the social day on Mondays, um, with entertainment and food, and we supply a meal that's up at the hall. Nice. Is this from Rocket this, down here? All, 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 except for the blackberries, all the vegetables no that are used there are from the community garden. This is a brilliant community garden. Not just because it's lovely and they're doing great things, but because of the energy and the positivity of the people who literally have come from all over the world to create it. So I'm gonna head back home now, not just with Kate's jams and chutneys from the cottage market, but with loads of great ideas and inspiration from them. Yeah.